for a couple of days, it was all, let's be kinder, gentler, and yeah. now, yeah. all of a sudden, we're back to yeah. targeting individuals who yeah. politically their opponents think have got it wrong. Yeah, well, and, of course, the scenes in the Commons again yesterday, I mean, it's becoming almost a regular occurrence now. The Speaker, in my view, has to have the confidence of MPs on all sides of the House, and he's virtually got no confidence now on the Tory side. He sits there and he tells everybody when they speak. Why has he done something that's seemingly... Such a crime, apparently, Well, uh, politically. It, it breaks with procedure because the motion that Dominic Grieve and Oliver Letwin put forward basically binds the hands of the government to bring something back to Parliament, and Parliament's not supposed to do that sort of thing. It was considered technically out of order, we think, by the clerks. Mm. And to sort of overrule the clerks and just say, I'm going to put this to a vote without, uh, without kind of thinking about the consequences of Parliament being able to bind the hands of the executive in that way. Though, of course, he's the Speaker of Parliament, actually grabbing power for Parliament, taking back control, you might say. It all say. goes back <laughs> down, in doesn't, favour it, of that. doesn't it, Andrew, yeah. to this idea that, you know, it, those who voted for Brexit yeah. voted to take back control. Sure. They voted to take back control so that Parliament would yeah. have sovereignty. The trouble is most people in Parliament didn't agree that's right. with the Brexit that, that's, referendum And that's the key. Result. Look, in my view, it, I don't think it can be disputed, the re result of the referendum was a clear instruction from the British people, or well, the 17.4 million people who voted for it, to negotiate our exit from the EU. Now, the amendment that the Speaker has accepted is from a man called Dominic Grieve, <laughs> been on this programme many times, mm. former Tory minister. He's determined to stop Brexit. Mm. Uh, I think there's going to be a huge cut-off between the British people and our elected mm. MPs. And Burko's job as Speaker is to enhance the stature of Parliament, and it won't achieve that. So why has he done it, then? Why has he taken that risk? Especially if, as we're led to believe, he was advised not he to do it. He was advised to. But, but the only thing that matters now is can you command a majority in Parliament for your idea, however mad it is? Mm. Theresa May, who, you know, in the end, the deal's pretty much as good as you could get. Yeah. She can't command a majority for it. The Brexiteers are trying to stop this deal because they think that would be brilliant. We'll kind of hurl over the edge of the cliff on the 29th of March. Mm. But Parliament has said, with, th with this vote yesterday and also Yvette Cooper's amendment the day before, we are not going to tolerate... We've got the numbers to block a no-deal Brexit mm. and we'll do anything but, but, to stop that. But we're still in the same position. Uh, May is criticised because she should have sorted this out before. She's had two and a half years. But Parliament still, with 650 MPs, there is absolutely no majority amongst MPs for what she should do instead, what the government right. should do instead. No majority for a second referendum. There's no majority for anything. That's absolutely. the problem. Now, Jeremy Corbyn today, uh, inching towards, you know perhaps triggering another general election. What are the chances of that? Does that require, you know, any actions that he takes, does that require a majority in the House of Commons? The, and and, and the would way, he have one? Well, there's a fixed-term Parliament Act, which means two-thirds of MPs have to vote for an early election. They did that before, when Mrs May thought she was going to win by a landslide. Tory MPs are not going to vote for that, trust me, because mm. they would be judged for not having delivered on Brexit. So he's not going to get it that it, way? It could be a confidence motion in the government. Now, the DUP, the Northern Ireland, ten MPs who've been holding the balance of power, they may not support the Conservatives because mm. they do not like Mrs May's deal. But they but don't want a general election. They do not. No. And, and, and they don't and want Corbyn either. And there's also a huge number of Labour MPs who don't want a general yes, election. For good but reason. Because they're, because they're Remainer Labour MPs in Lever constituencies and they, they would feel threatened. And you talked about the sort of disconnect between mm. uh, the, the politicians and the 17.4 million that voted to leave if they were to sort of yeah. delay or, or what have you. The disconnect between Jeremy Corbyn and the idea of another general election and the general public wanting another general election. Yes. You can hear Brenda in Bristol, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, another what, one! What, what, oh, especially yeah. as it wouldn't, it wouldn't resolve anything. We just no. had, we had a general election yeah. and we elected a parliament that was completely unclear about what so it wanted why to do on he, Brexit. Why well, because, that? no, but to be fair to Jeremy Corbyn, he has said that if Labour got into government, they would then go back do a and renegotiate. I mean, what absolute nonsense. Well, how you do know, you know that? Because it is not possible how to How do get... you know it's not possible? Because the EU has been really clear and consistent. They've published paper after paper setting out you can have this option or that option or the other option. Yeah, but, uh, been but clear apparently all... when Jeremy Corbyn walks into the room... Oh, I see. ..other things might happen. Exactly, because he's so special and lovely. Well, I, and, you know, and he's to been... be honest, the deal that Theresa May has come back with is considered a good deal by practically nobody... So if isn't you want... it worth someone else having another go? It, it all depends on the parameters you set. If you want to end freedom of movement, which Theresa May decided was a priority, mm -hmm. this is the best deal for economic integration. What does Jeremy Corbyn get? think about freedom of movement? Is well, so that's the question. To... They, they're not saying. Okay, no, so if he went they, into a room and said, that, actually, that's yeah. no longer a red line. We could stay it in would, the single market. Yeah. We could stay yep. in the customs union. That's what Keir Starmer sort of hints at. 
But would that satisfy the Leavers? They don't want to say they're still having this kind of Schrodinger's policy on Brexit, which is not really saying yeah, anything, yeah. keeping it secret. And, of course, let me tell you, if people voted to leave the European Union, if one of the big reasons was they wanted to cut immigration from the EU, they would get no sucker from Jeremy Corbyn because he does not think there is too much immigration into this country, nor does Diane Abbott, the Shadow Home mm. Secretary. And, of course, a lot of Labour MPs and party members want a second referendum, and he's not going to say that today.